Good evening and welcome back to another interesting episode. Today, or in this session, we are going to break down Bloom's taxonomy in simple practical terms for teachers preparing for the GS promotion examination and also for educators worldwide. So these are the three major domains of tax blooms we are going to talk about. That is the cognitive domain, which is talks about the mental skills, the affective domain, which is talks about the attitudes and then the values, the psychomotor domain, which also is about the physical skills. Now let's dive into them one after the other. Now, what is Bloom's taxonomy about? Bloom's taxonomy is a framework that classifies educational learning objectives into different levels of complexity and specificity. It helps teachers structure lessons, assessment, and learning activities to promote a deeper understanding. So it is going to help you to structure your lessons so at the Ministry of Assessment, either um, formative, diagnostic, or summative. You know, uh, taxonomy was proposed by Benjamin Bloom. That was in 1956. Bloom was an educational psychologist at the University of Chicago. You know, the, the first book, the first book uh, of taxonomy, that is in book one, but it contains the cognitive domain, which was published in uh, 1956. Now, the second volume, that is a handbook two, was also, uh, that is a affective domain, was also published in 1964. You know, in 2001, the original framework was revised by Anderson and then Craft 4. This updated version is known as the revised Bloom's taxonomy. You know, the Sakamoto was also, Sakamoto domain was actually not published by Bloom's or Benjamin Bloom. It was published by Three, these three individuals that was Simpson, that was 1972. It was also developed, part of it was also developed, or let's say revised by Harrow in 1972. Dave also came in, and all these three personalities helping develop the Sakamoto domain. So, in effect, Bloom. Uh, Benjamin Bloom um, published uh, the cognitive and then the affective domain. All right. <clears throat> Bloom's taxonomy of the cognitive domain focuses on mental skills. So we are going to talk about the cognitive domain, such as knowledge, understanding, thinking, and then problem solving. In the original taxonomy, that is the one developed in 1956, the cognitive domain was divided into six levels. Six levels. The, in the reverse Bloom taxonomy, that is 2001, some levels were renamed and synthesized, was replaced by Crate. So the new one, the new revised one, the synthesized is rather Crate. Also, names change from nouns to verbs form or the verb forms. So let's look at them one after the others. So the six levels of cognitive domain. You know, like I said, the new levels are now in the verb form instead of now. 
So initially it was knowledge. But now the revised form is what remember. So that's the, the revised form, remember. Good. The lowest level, it involves recalling facts, information or previous learned material. So these are by recalling of all facts or information. For example, name three common types of meat. So if you want to set a question, if you want to base on the first level of cognitive domain by Benjamin Bloom. Benjamin Bloom. So these are the key words probably you can use in setting your question. Name three common types of meat. List the seven continents of the world. Study the formula for the area of a rectangle. Okay, so these are about recalling, recalling, recalling. All right, so this is the first level of cognitive domain. First level, that's remembering or remember. So here we are focused on the new one, the revised one, which is in the form of verb, no more now. All right. The next level, level two, is understanding or understand. Previously, it was comprehension, which is now. So the revised version is what understanding or understand. All right. Let's see if probably if you want to set a question based on the student understanding or based on the second level of the cognitive domain. Let's see how the questions are going to be framed. The learner makes sense of the information, interprets, explains, or summarizes. For example, summarize the defining characteristics of steak, pork, and chicken. The next question is explain in your own ways why plants need sunlight. You get my point? So, and then the last one summarize the main idea of a given paragraph. So how you understand it. So understanding uh, this is the kind of question you can I mean, set, set based on understanding the, or the second level of cognitive domain. The next one is apply or apply. Previously it was application which was a now. Now, it is what applying. Applying is the form of a verb. Using learned knowledge in new, but similar situations. So how do you apply what you have already learned? Uh, let's see the kind of questions you can set based on this level, level three, applying. So that's eating help or does eating meat help improve longevity does it so how you're going to apply this that's the application so apply set the formula for simple interest to calculate the interest on a loan so we have already learned these formulas so how do you apply it in calculating for the interest on a loan how do you apply it as application <laughs> apply the rules of subject verb agreement to correct a sentence to connect a sentence so this is how a question is set on apply that is a level three level three of the cognitive domain okay analysis so now it is all analyze or analyzing the analysis was a noun the, the revised form is supposed to be verb that's why i say analyze or analyzing okay. so when it comes to analyze i mean what does it talk about it says breaking information into parts and examine the relationships pattern or structure so before you analyze them, you need to break the information into parts. Analyze it and then draw your conclusion. Okay, 
So compare and then contrast different ways of serving meat and compare their health benefits. Okay, so compare and then contrast. You need to, it means that you are analyzing. Identify the causes and effects of deforestation in Ghana. Right? Identify the causes and effects. So you have to analyze this. Examine the differences between renewable and non renewable resources. Examine the differences. So these are the kind of question. If you want to set a question based on the Bloom's, uh, Benjamin Bloom's uh, cognitive domain levels, based on the fourth one, if you want to set a question based on the fourth one, these are the kind of ways or key phrases you can use to set the question based on the fourth one. Analyze. All right. Level five. Level five. That is uh, creates or creating. Initially, it was synthesize. Synthesize. Now it is no more. It's supposed to be in a verb form. So create or creating. Combining ideas to produce something new plan or design or propose a solution so a revised version called this create and place it at the highest level so the highest level in of the cognitive domain is what create create so if you want to set a question let us see how you can set a question based on the creates or this domain Okay, convert an unhealthy meat recipe into a healthy one by replacing certain ingredients. Explain why the new ingredients are healthier. So you are going to create something new. Develop a short story using the given character characters and settings. So you're going to develop or create something new. When you create something new, design a simple experiment to test how light affects plant growth. All right, so again, in this case, if you want to set a question based on this um, level, create these are the questions probably you can set on that. Okay, there's a the sixth one says I'm making judgments based on criteria, evidence, or standards. In the revised taxonomy, in the revised taxonomy evaluate is the second highest level. Evaluate is the second highest level. Okay, so initially it was evaluation. So in the new or in the revised taxonomy, it is now evaluate. Or evaluating is supposed to be in the verb form so evaluate so here we are passing judgment passing judgment on that so let's see how I mean the kind of question if you want to set based on evaluation the kind of question you can set which types of meat are best for preparing a healthy meal and why so here we're going to pass judgment judge whether online learning is more effective than traditional learning and justify your answer All right evaluate the effectiveness of a school's discipline policy and explain your reasoning all right all right so to re, to be able to recall this let's try to answer a few questions on what we have discussed so far and today we are focusing on the cognitive domain so next time when we meet we we'll talk about the other domains all right so the first question first question which level of bloom's cognitive domain involves rec 
calling previous land false. Recalling. It means that you need to remember to remember something. Recalling in the third is me to remember something. Okay, so yeah, basically our answer is going to be remembering. 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 Okay. Let me bring my pointer. Okay, so remembering will be the best answer for this question. And the next question. A student is playing a concept in their own words. It means that the person understands it. That is why the person is able to explain it in his or her own words. This demonstrates which cognitive level to understand. You need to understand before you can explain it in your own ways. So, option A is the answer to this question. All right, the next one. Solving a mathematics problem using a formula falls under which Bloom's uh, level? So, look at this. Solving a mathematics problem using so it means that you are going to apply something over here. You are going to use the formula to solve something. So you are applying. You are applying the formula. Good. So we will go for option A. Apply. Apply option A. Which cognitive level involves breaking information into parts to explore relationships? So like I said, before you analyze something, you need to break the information into parts before you can analyze it. Okay. Uh, analyzing will be the answer. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Now let's go. Elena judges the quality of an argument based on the evidence. This is an example of, so as soon as you pass judgment, you are evaluating you are evaluating so option a is the answer which of the following best reflects creating level of cognitive domain creating level of cognitive level so when you create it, it means that you are actually i mean doing something new bring out something new creating something new so with this the best answer to go for is option C, designing a new solution to a problem. A new so, so uh, at the moment we try to be innovative. We try to we are trying to be creative, creating something. All right. The teacher asks students to compare and contrast two teaching methods. They stacks it belongs to so compare, compare and contrast. When you're comparing two things, it means that you are analyzing yeah, both sides. You have to analyze this side, analyze this side, and compare. So, yeah, I'll go for option C, analyzing. Option C, analyzing. All right. So, you can also pause the video and then glance through what is being written beneath here. All right. Developing a new curriculum outline for ICT in basic school belongs to which level? Developing a new, so creating something new, bringing out something new out of something. That is what creating. Creating is the highest cognitive level. It involves original work design and what? Innovation. So creating will be the answer to this question. All right, all right, all right, I'm sure we are done. We are done. So our next domain we we'll talk about is uh, we we'll talk about affective domain. If time permits, we can also talk about psychomotor domain. But uh, if you have not subscribed, please type on subscribe to enjoy the next videos. Thank you. Thank you.